Hi everyone, Cinexoft here. Uh, HD18T is a DVB-T2 Android TV box uh, based on AMLogic dual core processor. So I've connected the USB 3 hard drive but to a USB 2 port uh, to be able to use uh, time shifting on PVR functions, the antenna. Now I've got a roof antenna and connected to my HDMI TV. Okay, so that's the uh, home menu. Let's try to adjust. Okay. Alright. Okay, I will only focus on the DVB function. And the application is on the right of the menu. Um, so the first time it will say there is no scan and then it will show something like this where you can select uh, to scan automatically the programs. There are five areas France, Taiwan, United Kingdom, Italy, Australia. The first time I just try Australia, I mean Thailand, I just try Australia, it didn't work at all. I switched back to UK and it worked. Uh, in Thailand it's only DVB-T2 and I got about 30 mm, channels and that's normal. But in Singapore people reported that it doesn't work. Okay, so let's go to some of the functions. You've got program edit. Uh, the password is 0000 by default. And here you can delete channels and rename, rename the channels as you see fit. I press back and the menu is gone and then there is EPG function uh, unfortunately it can get the channel names that's the most important but it cannot get any data for the EPG okay and each time you go back the menu will go, so you have to pre press menu again. Uh, PVR configuration, you can select the disk. Uh, I have two partitions on my hard drive. I have four actually, but only two are detected. The first one is NTFS and the second one is FAT32. This one is selected by default and you can also set the time shifting uh, duration between 10 and 60 minutes. And the PVR manager, okay, zero, 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 zero. Okay, uh, list the files uh, yeah, you have recorded. So when I press OK on the file, it will ask me if I want to make a factory reset, which doesn't make any sense. But uh, it says play, and if I press play, it can play the video I recorded. Okay, but I will show you this uh, later. Oh, actually it will enter time shifting function. That's... That's crazy. This is not time shifting. This is a video I recorded. But it will ask you if you want to exit time shifting. And you can see there is a button preview, play, delete. So if I click on preview here, nothing happen uh, if I click on play nothing happens okay so I uh, and if I click on mouse function to delete the blue pattern doesn't work so the so user interface is a little mm, I've been poorly designed okay and then let's try time shifting so let me change channel, uh, go to a 4K, uh, <laughs> full HD channel. Oh, I cannot change channel when I'm in that time shifting function. Oh, that's, that's much unfortunate. Ready? Okay, so let's use this uh, channels. This channel is a SD resolution and I press pause. I go to toilet, do my thing. I come back and I carry on playing. So this part is working. 
Um, the one thing, yeah, one thing is uh, if I haven't found a way to do is to remove the the menu at the bottom. Uh, I think after one minute it will go, but this is annoying that you have to wait for one minute. All right, let's try to exit this. And let's go in the menu. This part is finished, and the systems. Uh, you have a few options. Teletext is not working. I don't know if in Thailand we, we have this. Let's go back at the top. AB option. Picture size. Subtitle. Only two languages in this world. Audio same. And blackout policy. What is that? I don't know. Okay. Uh, so now for recording, since the EPG is not working, you only have one option, is the record key here. So let me select uh, high definition channel first. This one is high definition. I press the record button and then here you can say how long you want to record. So for testing I will say yes. For one minute and now I will is recording and I will try to change channel no on down so if you are using a channel is in the same stream you'll be able to watch one channel and record another one I mean at the same frequency. I think one frequency in DVB-T2 can hold four channels. Or is that more than four? So now they let me change channels quite a lot. Okay, it was six channels because they are HD and SD resolution. Okay, recording is finished, so I can go into the menu, in the PVR manager, enter the password, uh, channel 7, and play it back. Let me increase the volume. Okay. Sometimes playback doesn't work. So instead the user interface is quite confusing. So instead you can exit the DVB <laughs> function the DVB, the DVB app and go to movie app which they call it and USB A on the director USB B on the directory is TV record files channel 7 and unfortunately the file has no audio so it does not seem to work very well at all I never been able to record with audio And sometimes we have artifacts, but maybe it's when I change channels that it happened. Anyway, 
uh, recording a video without audio, I don't think it's acceptable. Okay, so let's complete this and I will just uh, show the firmware I'm using. Go to settings. Others, so my firmware is May 13, 2014. Okay, I've never, I haven't found a new firmware for this. Okay, that's all for today. Bye bye.